Let's take a moment and review what we've seen so far in our studies of the biblical theology of music. Uh, we've seen that God is a musician. He's a singer. He makes, uh, his voice makes a sound like a trumpet. He's the source of created music. And within the triune life, we see this a life of music. The Father sings the Son, the Word, by the breath of His Spirit. As Jonathan Edwards said, the, uh, the triune God is the supreme harmony of all. And the triune God is a, a three-voiced fugue, an infinite fugue. This God, who is eternally musical, uh, creates a, a world of sound. He creates a world by sound. He speaks a world into existence. And he speaks that world into existence by his word that's been vocalized by the Spirit. He sings the world into existence. So we have a creation that is designed to sing back praise to the God who is himself musical. Heaven, the upper story of the creation, is created as a songscape, but earth is supposed to be conformed to that songscape. Earth is supposed to be heavenized, and at the center of that is that earth is supposed to be filled with praise. And so we have, uh, at the end of the Psalter, Psalm 148, there's an exhortation to everything that exists, from the hosts of heaven to the stars, the sun and the moon, uh, every created thing on earth, everything is supposed to be joined in a cosmic chorus of praise. That's when earth is heavenized, when earth is filled as much filled with music as heaven is. God creates man to be the agent of heavenization. Man makes earth into heaven, and that means that man is the leader and the conductor and the lead singer of the great chorus and the great symphony of creation. Our goal, our role as, uh, as uh, creatures made in the image of the singing God, the musical God, is to be uh, heading up this great chorus of praise that in includes everything that exists. And as we take dominion over the earth, that's what we're doing. We're transforming the world and making the world into a set of instruments and a set of beings that brings praise to God. I think a musical instrument is a great paradigm example of what dominion is all about. Uh, we think of dominion sometimes as uh, dominating the earth and uh, forcing, forcing the earth to conform to our, to our image and imagination of the earth. Of course, that's not what the Bible has in mind. The Bible has in mind a cultivation of the earth, a transformation of the world, but a transformation of the world that transforms the world into a place of praise. You think the construction of a musical instrument, uh, someone takes the raw materials, uh, wood and something that provides string and some other materials, ivory perhaps for piano keys, and you turn all of those, you transform all of those raw materials and you turn them into an instrument that brings praise to God. That's the paradigm of human dominion. That's what we're here to do as human beings. We are created to be musicians, uh, to lead the great chorus of praise among all creatures and to transform the world so that everything in, our, uh, in the earth uh, praises God and echoes the song of heaven.